What's up guys, it's your boy Cyfax, and in this video uh, I'm going to prove to you why in previous videos I've stated that the Defender Titan could be the very best class for party gameplay on Destiny. And unfortunately, you're not going to see it from my point of view. Um, although this gameplay is from my point of view, but you'll understand what I mean by the end of this doozy. Um, I've got two... Uh, developer quotes that we're gonna go over in this video that basically indicate that console games could be completely fucked because the people making these games don't know what they're doing all right first quote is from destiny that I think surfaced late February um, it was a Q&A some guy named Mantis answered this question the question was, will we ever see the introduction of pure objective-based game modes such as Domination, Assault, or CTF? And this is for Destiny. It's a great question. Would love to have some pure objective uh, gameplay modes. And the answer was maybe someday. The real answer is that our initial collection of game types were designed to promote teamwork. <laughs> teamwork? without putting undue pressure on any one player. There's no way for one player to lose the game instantly the way a bad flag runner can in CTF. As Destiny evolves, we will add more complexity and variety in our game types as we see fit. We're gonna check back on this quote at the end of this video, all right? There's no one way for one player to lose the game. We'll, 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 we'll come back to this. Okay, so the next one is actually uh, something that I have pinned on Twitter. <clears throat> if you guys don't know what my Twitter is and you don't care, it'll be in the description. Um, back in 2015, Jan 1, fresh new year, Halo 5 beta is coming out soon, and some guy named Landon Robinson. Uh, I'll post a link to this as well. Uh, made a Reddit thread. Um, actually, I'm not sure if he made the thread, but he linked it to one of the Halo devs. So I apologize if I'm not getting the giving the proper credit. By six underscore p. Sprint in Halo. Does the community like that Sprint was permanently added to Halo? Josh Holmes, studio head of 343 Industries said in a post about Halo 4, Halo 5 design decisions on TeamBeyond.net, within that larger audience, most people expect to be able to sprint. I agree with him. Most FPS gamers are total idiots as well. Um, sprint just doesn't work with a lot of games, and Halo is at the top of the list. Uh, this statement seemed quite interesting to me, as the the uh, redditor is saying so I decided to find out what r slash halo thinks and posted a discussion thread that included a poll and listed the most popular reasons pro and con sprint these are the results so on reddit slash halo 69% of the people said no sprint is hurting the game it should be removed 31% yes it's a part of halo and needs to stay that's that's good that it's in the positive, but 31%, that's still too high for me. TeamBeyond.net, which is basically competitive Halo, 95% said that Sprint should be removed from Halo. 95%. Well, 5% said no. So those guys, they know what they're talking about. Then a poll on Halo Waypoint that Ghost Yami made in 2014. Should Sprint stay in Halo? 71% said no, and 27% said yes, it belongs in Halo. That doesn't add up to 100%, so there's probably a third option, but that wasn't listed. So then he concludes by saying that Halo Waypoint, r slash Halo, and TeamBeyond.net are very different communities, but they all represent um, basically the whole of Halo. And then he basically asks to Josh uh, Holmes, who is that larger audience if the majority of these Greek communities dislike Sprint, and how does he know? So then we refer back to the tweet where Josh replied to the thread, and he said some interesting comments, and then he linked a Wikipedia link. Alright? 
and it takes you to self-selection bias. In statistics, self-selection bias arises in any situation in which individuals select themselves into a group, causing a biased sample with non-probability sampling. And the day that I found this, when it was referenced on a team, uh, Bomb Planet, I believe it's called podcast, this really bothered me. This is why Halo will never be good again. Because of this tweet that this motherfucker laid down. He really thinks that this is biased sampling after three different websites were polled. You have 30% on one website saying yes it should say and 5% on the other, but he thinks it's it's biased that those communities aren't different enough. And how 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 can this guy be working on Halo but think that Sprint should be in Halo and then they try to balance it by making it so you can't get your shields back? When you sprint, but I believe that the Spartans have infinite sprint, so they'll just run away forever until they can hide, and it just, it just can't be in the game. Never mind the fact that all the Spartans are actually striker titans and have shoulder charge and can climb and have uh, super, um, Superman punches. Never mind that fact. Sprint is the number one issue. Okay. And if we check back on the gameplay, you might have noticed that the other team is f seems to be supered like 24-7. And they have a few Defender Titans every time they super. They generate two orbs. They're communicating where and the other teams get the orbs. Um, where we've been losing the entire time. And it's kind of ironic that in this game... Well, Golden Gun sucks. Um, it's kind of ironic that in this game we're actually communicating in game chat, but I'm going to mute the game audio right, because I'm a total troll and I don't want you to hear what we're saying because then it'll conflict with what I'm saying. And uh oh, we're, we're pulling it out. Let's see if this works. There's no way this is going to work, right? Oh my god, I got both. Am I an idiot? This is very tense. Oh. Well, Truth versus Defender Titan. Uh, Defender Titan wins because the bubble is basically immune to rockets, so that was a terrible play by me. I apologize for that. But back to the core of this video. Oh my god, there's more heavy. I'm using weapons of light on a rocket launcher, dude. Desperate place. There we go. Alright. I need to stop watching this gameplay. Um. How, I, with these developers saying these things, we don't have a chance as far as expecting another solid shooter game on console that has that will have ranked matchmaking and just balanced and good game types and maps. It's not going to happen. Titanfall 2 will be fun to play in pubs, but I bet you they fuck it up again because that's how life works and Black Ops 3 I mean Call of Duty can be good for competitive but I don't know to me it's still just Call of Duty well I just one shot at a Sun Singer that's spectacular destroyed I'm trying to come back at this point but I mean Call of Duty we've seen what they can do with their terrible game type selection if you look at a game mode like blitz good god i'm surprised blitz isn't in destiny what a horrible variation of capture the flag so bad and they just took out hardpoint man who was that that made ghosts they shouldn't be allowed to touch call of duty ever again what an abomination of a video game went for the headshot right there didn't pick it up and they're just floating in the air this game's over. We're down about 4,000. The enemy team only needs one kill. And let's refer back to this Destiny quote. Let's read it again. There's no way for one 
bat one player to lose the game instantly, the way a bad flag runner can in CTF. All right, let's check back in the gameplay. This is an Iron Banner, huh? Look at the bottom. There's a few anchors down there. Hmm. Let's check out this scoreboard. Let's see if a bad flag run would be equally as bad as what we're about to see. Oh, three kills combined. I believe that's two and fifteen and like one and sixteen. Yeah, dude. You know, maybe one player can't lose a game, but two players can. You know, there's no, there was no uh, extra pressure on Kevin the True One or Candolo, but there was enough pressure for them to lay down those scores. You know, my score was good, my party score wasn't too good, but we only had one guy go negative, the other two went positive. The other team, nothing special out of their KDs, but because the scoring system is so fucked, and because it's actually not an objective mode, where we could have stayed a chance and our teammates' KDs wouldn't have mattered because holding the flags over a certain amount of time makes us win, not because they're fucking dying, Okay, because it's a TDM game mode with three poles in the ground, that's why we lost. So I think there was enough pressure on Candolo to drop that bomb. And I'm not saying that one guy not knowing how to run the flag can ruin a game, but when that dumbass has the flag and he's running the opposite way, he's going to die. And if the other team is good enough, they can pick up the slack, they can get the flag, and they can try to score. Plenty of times that won't work out, and I've lost plenty of CTF games where one of my teammates couldn't go clutch with the flag or just didn't know what he was doing, but I won so many more games because KD didn't matter, and I won so many more games where me playing well and playing the objective well was more important than my KD. And my KD was really good on Titanfall, but we're talking about a strictly objective game mode and that just isn't in destiny it won't be and halo having sprint as a permanent um gameplay mechanic we just we're fucked you know and i'm a core halo fundamental player and i don't think i'm ever gonna play another halo where it reminds me of where i developed my skill set on FPS's and that is very frustrating. I just want to make another point that I think this directly relates to this generation um, constantly rewarding people who don't win. You know, fourth place getting a trophy, um, everyone getting a trophy in like a little league series or something like that. Everybody has to have a fair chance. And everybody has to have fun, and it's not about winning. That's why crouch jumping isn't going to matter in Halo 5, because you can just jump, miss the jump, and then climb up the wall and get to where you want it to be. You know how un-Halo climbing is? That's like, that's so different game. It, you had to have a skill set to make certain jumps. You know how different Guardian would be? If everyone could just do S1, S2, it'd be completely different. Different teams probably would have won tournaments because that jump was so important on that map, but only a few people could do it. I landed it like twice in in-game scenarios, and it's just, we're fucked.